A strategy is an overall game plan that enables a company to attract customers by distinguishing itself from its competitors. So strategic thinking is extremely important. That's what employers want. They don't want yes men and yes women. They want people that can think and solve a puzzle. And that's what this class is really all about, figuring out the tools we need to solve puzzles. It's fine for you to regurgitate things in a course, but no employer is going to pay you for that ability. They can read, they can Google. They don't need regurgitators. They need people who can think strategically, focus on the big picture, and how the company can achieve success. Enterprise risk management is a process a company use or uses to identify and manage risk. So every company is going to face some element of risk from its employees, from its customers, from the outside world, and it's management's job to assess those risks and then implement specific controls in order to mitigate those risks. So here are just some examples of various business risks that a company may face and controls that can help the company reduce the risk. There's no reason you need to memorize all of this, but you should look through these items and ask yourself if the control makes sense. For instance, poor weather conditions, shutting down operations. One thing a company could do is develop contingency plans for overcoming weather-related disruptions or a supply strike halting the flow of raw materials could be a potential risk so we want to establish a relationship with two companies capable of providing the materials so if one fails we have a backup plan so the important thing is identifying the risks and then coming up with ways to mitigate or reduce them this really ties into financial accounting because in financial accounting, we talked about controls in order to mitigate the risk that the financial statements would be inaccurate or incorrect or fraudulent. So there's various types of controls that we can implement. You can look through the various types of controls. The two classifications are preventive or detective. And what that means is preventive controls try to prevent the fraud or error from happening in the first place, whereas a detective control is going to discover the error or the fraud once it's happened. Process management is important in managerial accounting. A business process is a series of steps that are followed in order to carry out some tasks in a business. And those business functions make up the value chain. So that includes research and development, product design, manufacturing, marketing, distribution, and customer service. It's really important that we appropriately manage each business process because each one of these is integral in supplying the customer with a high quality product and then providing the customer service to make sure that they're able to utilize that product effectively and get the support that they need if there are any issues down the line. Lean production is another managerial accounting concept which is extremely important. Basically lean production means that we produce just the amount of items that are needed for customer demand. If we don't do this Ultimately, we have too much product sitting on the shelves that can spoil, it can be damaged, stolen, etc. And it's also using up all of our money and resources by having it invested in that inventory just sitting on a shelf. So with lean production, the customer places an order and that creates the production order. So we don't produce anything until the customer demands it. Then we generate the required components, we order anything we need, we produce as the parts arrive, and then we deliver the goods to the customer when needed. The problem with a lean production system is that if we take too long, customers will be impatient and go on to our competition. So we need to strike a balance where we're not keeping a lot of stuff on hand. We have really good relationships with our suppliers to make sure that they're able to supply us with the parts right away when we need them. And 
that we're able to make sure we have high level of quality. So once the good is created, it can be created quickly and it's not going to have any defects that would again upset the customer. So the concept of lean production is to reduce costs by following a just in time system. So we order the goods just in time to provide them to our customers. Again, the risk with a just in time system is we could run out of product and that may force customers to move on to alternative competitors. Traditional manufacturing, unlike lean production, basically involves producing a whole bunch of goods in anticipation of sales, storing that inventory, and then hoping that customers come and buy it. And we make the sales from our finished goods inventory when they do. The major weakness in this type of system is the cost associated with storing the inventory can be substantial. And then as technology changes, our inventory be can become obsolete very quickly depending on the type of inventory that we're providing. And then as it's sitting in the warehouse, it's susceptible to theft. It's susceptible to being damaged. We need to spend money to house it, like pay for a warehouse, pay for the utilities of the warehouse, maybe pay for security guards, etc. So a traditional system where we push out the goods can work in some instances, but in a lot of cases, it's going to be more costly than following a lean production system. So again, the biggest benefits of lean production are going to be to allow production in response to customer orders, which means the number of units produced is equal to the number of units sold, so we don't have a whole lot of stuff hanging around on the shelves. In order for it to work, though, we need to have fewer defects, less wasted effort, and quicker customer response times than traditional production methods. Otherwise, it isn't going to work. We also need to keep in mind that we can't have customers waiting for too long or they could get fed up and move on to the competition. And that's all there is for the prologue, just giving you an overall sense of what managerial accounting is about and some of the differences between managerial and financial accounting. Some of the overall concepts that were discussed like planning, controlling, decision making, and lean production, enterprise risk management, etc. we'll be touching upon in later chapters as well and diving a little more deeply into those concepts.